All right, guys, it is a windy day in late September. Wind's blowing southeast. Uh, it's about four o'clock, doing some surf fishing, trying to catch false albacore, trying to catch stripers. I don't know what to throw here. All right, this is gonna, this is gonna do it. We're gonna throw a smack it. This popper right here. This time of year you have all kinds of uh, game fish like beginning to come to the beaches to feed. Bluefish, striped bass, uh, you got bait like mullet, peanut bunker, anchovies, spearing. Um, like as the water starts to cool, the fishing gets good. You know, you can catch fish like on poppers, you know, uh, in the daytime, stuff like that. So we're gonna try to catch a striper. Oh, right there, right there. Woo, look at that. Striper on the smack it, right there. That one hit it uh, right as I was getting ready to pull it out of the water. I'd already thought about my next cast. Like I was, I was done. This fish is actually gonna be, I bet you he's 28 inches. I bet you this fish is 28 inches. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I, would, I would bet that he's 28 inches. Uh, that looks like a definite, barely legal striped bass. And uh, he hit it like a crazy bass. Look at that fish. On the smack it. Yeah, that's really good stuff right there. All right, let's get this fish some, some oxygen. Uh, I just dug around in my bag for this tape measure because I want to see if he's 28 inches. I just want to see if he's a uh, keeper or not. I said that I thought he was, so I gotta stick to that. Now I'm thinking he's not, but he is definitely a keeper. At uh, 29 inches, 29 inch striper. First keeper of the fall for me. Oh yeah, that's awesome, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna release this fish. I was thinking I was gonna keep it, but I'm gonna release it. Um, it's too far of a walk to go, uh, you know. Oh yeah, he's good to go. Yeah, okay, great stuff right there, guys. Great stuff right there. Woo, 29 inch bass. Got it started real quick. It's uh, September 23rd, I think. And uh, my, I got a 29 inch bass on a, on a smack, you know. Oh my God, instant, instant. Oh yeah, what, what, what? It's a bluefish, it's a bluefish. Instant bluefish, dang. Yo, apparently it's going off right now. It's going off this afternoon, going off. All right, we got hit by a bluefish instantly on that cast. Cast after the 29 inch bass. If it was a bass that had hit, then it would be something. Oh my gosh, what is that? Is that bluefish? If it's bluefish, then we're screwed. Woo! We're hooked up though. We're hooked up. Every cast. Oh, he's off. I think it's bluefish, but we gotta make sure. We'll just take one more cast. In fact, I'm gonna go up there because I think there might be a better chance at a bass up there. Uh, let's see. Uh, the bass hit it as I was really ripping it. And uh, this time of year, mullet are the key forage for these striped bass and bluefish. I mean, obviously, bunker is going to be really good. We got something on here. This might be a bass. It is a bass. Look at this, guys. It's going off right now. Every cast. Every cast. This is pretty good stuff here. I, I didn't expect it to be this good. Uh, this is what a little bit of onshore breeze will do for you during the mullet run. Gonna take this hook out. There he is, little striper. He's not the keeper, but he's a nice little addition to an already good day of fishing. All right, so we literally have the spot right here, guys. And this this is the spot within the spot. What we have here is a sandbar. Where that wave is breaking is a sandbar. It's real shallow right there. Sandbar runs to shore, hits shore right up there. In here, it's deep. 
these fish are hanging out in this deep water. Oh. Alright, really good stuff we got going on right here. Oh! Dang! They're going crazy in here. Another bass. Another bass. Another bass. Very excellent. Very excellent. Not a bad fish right there. Alright, so I should have brought pliers and a boga grip to make this easier, but I didn't. A nice striper. Nice strong release. Look at all this mullet right here. Look at all this mullet right here. This is what it's all about, guys. This is what it's all about. We got mullet running and bass hitting smackets. That's what it's all about. Let's see how many bass. We got three bass and a bluefish. Woo! Just got slammed. Oh, we followed it up the shore. Another one right there. We got multiple bass. Really good stuff is happening here, guys. Really good stuff is happening. I'm really excited right now. This is uh, the best bite I've been on all fall. Oh, he smacked it. Three feet in the air. Bass. They're, they're really dialed into these mullet. And we have this sand structure here. You know, we got a sandbar, a little bit of white water. Wind's blowing 25, 20, 25 miles an hour. And man, it's so far. Woo! Look at this. Oh, right there. Oh, oh, damn. Damn, son. It's going crazy. It's going crazy. It's lit up. 28 incher. 28 incher, if not, yeah, 28 incher. Uh, he's 27 inches. He's 27 inches. He's feisty. Feisty seven, 27 incher. And what we're gonna do is get this fish off our, our plug. All right, here we go. All right, we just got this hook out, finally. Let's see. 27 inch bass. Get him some nice. Oh, yeah, he's gonna be good to go. He's gonna be good to go. There he goes. Back on the back on the hunt. Oh my god, guys, we're getting bass every cast. We got keepers in the mix. Just one bluefish so far. And uh, we're keeping our eyes peeled for Albies right now, but but damn, there's a lot going on right now. This is what we need. This this white water right here that's coming through, that is what sets it off like this. When you get that white water, all you have to do is cast into it and rip your plug across the surface. Oh, and you'll just catch a bass on every cast, son. On every cast. Dude. Um, this, is, this is it. This is it. This is hot. This is some hot action, guys. Look, bass chasing mullet right here. Very hot action. Very hot action. All right, another great fish. Not too big, but oh man, we're really, we're really impressed right now. I'm impressed. I'm going to release this fish. He's in great health. Right back. This is going to get a fish. This cast is very aggressive. Very aggressive. Too aggressive. This is too aggressive right now. Let's see if we'll get one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And it's a nice one. Woo! <laughs> Dang, son! Dang, son! I will freaking take it! I will so take it! I will enjoy this every freaking time! Every freaking time! Alright, he's not he's not as nice. He looked like a 30 incher when I uh Woo! Gotta keep it easy with these things. I just got lucky there. I got lucky that I didn't get hooked, or that my waders didn't get hooked. There was some luck involved. We owe that one to the fish gods. All right, this one, we owe this bite to the fish gods. All right, that fish, he's not a keeper. He hit it so hard. Thrashed the surface. Woo! Really good stuff. They're gonna be, they're right up here, off this point. Up here. Oh yeah, fast retrieve, that's a blue fish. A bluefish. All right, we don't want bluefish. No, we do not. I mean, we kind of do, but we kind of don't. Bluefish are like 
When there's stripers up, we gotta take the stripers over the bluefish. All right, guys, there he is, fat bluefish. Flat bluefish. We got two hooks in the bluefish's mouth. At any point, the bluefish could and will flop. I'm trying to, we gotta get this epoxy jig. Gotta get this epoxy jig. We're using the epoxy jig as pliers today. Uh, one of the additional uses for these epoxies, they make great pliers. And that bluefish is not bad. It's a nice cocktail bluefish. And we're gonna let him go. Right, whoa, there he goes. I was gonna try to throw him, but then he, he squirmed a little bit. All right, guys, I left the bass zone uh, because another fisherman showed up and I didn't want to enlighten him on the epic fishing that was taking place. Not epic, but you know. So we waited for him to leave and we came back. We've been gone for about 20 minutes. I didn't catch any bass or see any bass while I was gone. All I did was take a walk down the beach. But um, we're back in the zone. Uh, there should be stripers on this point. This should be where they, this is, this is where they were 20 minutes ago. If they're gone, oh, they're not gone. They're not gone. This is, this is back on. It's back on. Another decent, decent short here. Decent fish. Oh, right there he is. He is uh, another striper. Good looking fish. Took the smack it just like they were doing before. We found the spot. This is a point that they're on. All the bass are stacked up on this one point here. We're gonna release that fish. All right, right in here. You can see how this wave is breaking and how like it's not breaking to the left. Like right there, this is the point. This is just all kinds of structure, sandbars, white water. It's the first point this mullet are hitting on their voyage south. And uh, I mean the bass, the bass are all over it. They're all over it. They're all over it. Oh yeah. All right guys, I'm just gonna cut the video here. Thanks for watching. This was a really good afternoon of fishing on a day when my expectations were low. I had no idea that the fish were gonna be stacked up like this, but uh, eventually the action did slow down. I think because I had caught the majority of the fish early on, but by the day, day's end, I had probably caught like 25 bass or so, uh, with only the first one being a keeper. Uh, but yeah, I figured the rest of the footage I have from this afternoon would just be repetitive and like not as interesting, so this is all we got. Uh, but for now, stick around because next up is the conclusion from last week's Martha's Vineyard Weekend Derby Run, which you will not want to miss. Uh, that should be up uh, in the two or three days. So thanks again for watching. I'll catch you next time.